Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I'm Jeff. Today is Saturday. It's, I don't know, 50 degrees. This is one, this is two, and this is three. That's Carol Burnett. It's like, did I already say this? It's like 7.15 in the morning. Big storm last night. Lots of wind and rain. No big problems here though. You guys won't eat out of my hand. You need to start paying attention. Oh, number one. That was number two. You usually don't go after her that hard. Yes, Carol Burnett. Good morning. You guys already got a whole pan full of food this morning. Good morning, Private Benjamin. Hi, Mary Tyler Moore. Punky. Okay, this stuff is mostly dust. The, the fence is on. I don't want to be touching the fence. It is way too early in the morning for me to be coherent, but I'm gonna try anyway. So, uh, long story short, <laughs> I came out here at, I don't know, 6.15 and checked on the girls because of the storm and, well, and anyway, there was another um, eggshell on the ground underneath the roost all the girls were still up on the up on their roost and there was another eggshell is it possible this may sound like crazy but is it possible that one of them is laying an egg at night and it's fallen down to the ground and you know cracking and then they're all eating it. Because they're good about laying the eggs in the nest boxes. So I don't know. I don't know. But there was another eaten egg this morning. So that's two days in a row. Um, I could not. I think it was a white. Uh, I think it was a white egg. So that means it was Punky. You don't like the name Punky, do you? Too bad. It's sticking. But I just, I don't know. It's too early in the morning. Right, Private Benjamin? Yes, Private Benjamin. But you guys are getting a full day outside today. Because I wanted to get in there and clean up the eggs, so. Alright. Fifi's up and at him. What are you chasing, Fifi? And where'd my other three hens go? There they are. Oh yeah, they got their snack. Now they're over here primping. And I need more coffee, obviously. Have a good day, ladies. Good morning, Mr. Blue. Mushrooms growing out of my garden bed. Mushroom, 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 mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Mushrooms growing out of your garden bed 
should be a good sign. There's another one. For your uh, garden, because what the mushrooms are doing is they're taking this hay and they are breaking it down into nutrients for future plants. That's how the process goes. Okay, I think I already did my good morning spiel. Um, I wanted to talk about the, the a comment yesterday that Rebecca left about my lasagna. And I can't hold this up. It's too early in the morning. So I'm going to turn it around and talk. <laughs> okay, so the, the video, the how-to videos on lasagna gardening you will see, they use a lot more layers than I do. So I really probably shouldn't, I should just be calling this, you know, bobblehead homestead silly uh, garden madness or something. But yeah, you should be using more layers of uh, brown and green, brown and green, brown and green. And I just, you know, I got here in October and I had to work on, you know, getting my living situation set up. So I didn't, there was some green material here in October. Um, but it was all gone by the time I was ready to start working on garden or thinking of any of that. But anyway, so this is not the, the proper way to do lasagna gardening. What, uh, you know, in a perfect world, I would have put down lime. And what the lime does is balances the pH. The pH, when I did my little tester here, was in the lower mid sixes and um well it depends on the plant but if you give it if you give it a ph of about seven your uh most plants are comfortable in that seven so i should have put down a layer of lime and then uh probably a layer of compost um uh, cow manure uh chicken manure uh green grass clippings you know something green that would uh that would help with the nitrogen and then i should have put down the hay and then i should have put down the cardboard and then i should have put down more compost or soil or something else and then more hay and then more green material and you know ideally in a lasagna garden you want like eight to ten layers of uh of brown green brown green you know like compost and that just i had the coffee grounds and i forgot about those yeah i did put down coffee grounds and i've been throwing down coffee grounds here and there but i only drink so much coffee right fifi yeah <laughs> thanks See, she's helping out. Something else that I haven't mentioned much is, uh, and one of the reasons why I'm growing more flowers than I am veggies, <laughs> I've been using a rotational urinating system out here since, for six months, since last October. So, and that's, you know, because it, well, and I call it rotational because there's actually a little method to that madness. Um, you know, at night when it's dark, I don't want to have to walk as far away, uh, to go. So I plan my, you know, my day trips went to the far end of the garden and around. And then my night trips were, I did, you know, more closer areas. So I've been, I've been using a rotational urinating. That fence is on and there's a bird that just landed on it. They have to hit two of the wires at the same time, don't they? Oh, it already flew off. Anyway, where was I? Um, it doesn't matter. It's too early in the morning for me to try to explain anything. But this was some really old hay in this wheelbarrow. And I left it out here on purpose. Because um, that's going to be some decent compost tea. So I gotta, I gotta come up with a five gallon bucket and lid to keep it in, but uh, yeah. Oh, and I should, this hay may look fresh, but 
uh, my cool neighbor at the cows who gave it to me says this is six, maybe even seven years old. And you can see when it's wet, you know, the outer layer is still brown because that uh, dries out with the sun. But you can see that black stuff, that's where I tore some of it off the other day. And you can also see the black. So that has been composting in there for six years. And same on that one. See that black streak? That's where I took some of the brown hay off the other day. So underneath it, it's, uh, you know, it's broken down enough to grow mu mushrooms. I've got mushrooms. I had mushrooms growing out of these hay bales. And I've got mushrooms growing out of my garden beds. So that, that tells me that the carbon is being broken down already. Uh, that's what the mushrooms do, is they break down that carbon. So, uh, I'm not going to... I can't just put seeds in the ground here and do nothing else and expect them to live. Uh, I'm going to need to add fertilizers as we go this year. And I just expect that. This might be more... Uh, more of a hydroponic <laughs> type situation than growing in the ground but uh, I'll, I'll figure it out this year and if I don't I expect a bunch of failures I did not you know I didn't expect all these irises taking up the entire flower patch I am gonna try to work around them but all of this is in preparation for hopefully next year when I've got my own compost I've got my own uh, fertilizer needs taken care of and I'm droning on and on and on it's way too early in the morning um, ladies you're kind of on the steps I was hoping to go inside and get my last cup of coffee yeah you're just, you're used to hanging out there waiting for me to come out and give you food. But I already did that. I woke up like extra early this morning. That's cool if you want to hang out there all day, but I got to get inside. 